The story of Naaman, I see as a story for all of us for the Lenten season, starting at Ash Wednesday. We all have big plans for Lent. We're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to be a new person by Easter time. And yet, God just wants us to do simple things. More time in prayer, fasting, do a work of charity. Naaman was indignant that the prophet Elisha gave him something so simple to do. He wanted to do all these profound things, much like us when we contemplate our Lenten journey. To start out on Ash Wednesday, we're going we're gonna to kill it. We're going to be a new person by Easter, fit into that bathing suit, write that novel, oh, see the b- mystical vision, beatific vision. And yet God calls us to do simple things. Spend more time in prayer with me. Contemplate fasting on Friday. Do a work of charity. It's in the simple things indeed that we encounter God. It's in the very simple, everyday, ordinary that we are meant to see God. One of my great stories of Easter time is John 23. It's a simple passage. And Peter said, I'm going fishing. In John's gospel, uh, some people debate, the high scripture people say that this was a little snippet uh, before the resurrection. And so Peter and the other apostles might have been discouraged. They saw Jesus died. And so what did Peter say? I'm going fishing. I'm going back to doing what I know how to do. And it was in the simple, in the ordinary, in the everyday that Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, came to Peter and the others. As we contemplate our Lenten journey, maybe we should welcome the simple, in the ordinary, in the everyday, and try to see Jesus in that, and give up these big expectations, give up these big challenges that we place upon ourselves. It's interesting that we give ourselves more burden than what God expects, than what God calls us to do. How did Lent begin? Repent and believe in the gospel. This third week of Lent, let us ask for that grace indeed to do the simple things, to do and see Jesus in the ordinary and in the everyday. The gospel today has Jesus speaking to his hometown crowd and they couldn't accept him because their expectations were also so great that the Messiah was going to be this, this, and this. The Messiah was not Jesus. They couldn't accept that someone that they grew up with, someone who they knew as a neighbor, could be the Messiah, could be God. Sometimes expectations are so great and yet so wrong. As we enter this third week of Lent, let us see Naaman as our example for the rest of Lent. And if we've already fallen, if we've already broken some of our promises, let us get up and start again. That's what all the fathers and mothers in the desert used to tell their followers of the early church. If you sin, stand up and begin again. So if Lenten promises have already been smashed. Let us begin again and maybe give up doing the profound, maybe give up all of these high expectations and just spend more time in prayer with God to welcome fasting and to do a small work of charity. For it's in the simple, in the ordinary, in the everyday that Jesus invites us to encounter him, the resurrected one, So let us welcome the rest of Lent by doing the simple, the ordinary, and the everyday.